another great interview segment from the Racing Insider Show. We're going now to talk to John Doonan, director of motorsports at Mazda. It was one of the headlines this week, in addition to the testing headlines at Sebring and Daytona. We have a special headline. Mazda introduces a P2 car in the prototype category for the Tudor United Sports Car Championship. John, congratulations on this car and especially your advancement of technology putting a diesel engine in the car. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's great to be back on the Racing Insider Show. And you're right, it is a game-changing announcement. I think that was part of the headline. Uh, and uh, we're really excited to be able to announce a two-car effort uh, for the new 2014 championship. It's been a long time coming. We have so many folks that have worked extremely hard over the last couple of years uh, to bring this to fruition. And now we can talk about it emphatically and prepare ourselves for our debut at the Rolex 24. Do, were you testing? I didn't see you in the numbers. Did you take the car to the tests at Sebring or Daytona? We did not participate at Sebring over the weekend, and we're not going to be at Daytona this coming week. Uh, we have been testing. Uh, it's Mazda testing only. Um, we'll be at all the facilities, Sebring and Daytona, um, but we're, uh, we're not going to be at the public tests until the roar before the 24. Uh, which gives us a chance to put miles on the cars, uh, break things, um, you know, try to do what we can to get prepared and be ready for the, the full season. Well, we spent uh, last week, John, down at Button Willow, Bill and myself. I was one of the judges for the MX-5 Cup. Do you have a list of drivers that you're looking at already, or is this going to be a customer program? Or, you know, Joey Bickers did one at MX-5 Cup shootout. Is this possibly to have a ladder system for guys to move up with the ultimate being in the P2, uh, the Mazda prototype? As you know, Mazda, for, for many years now, frankly since 2007, has trying to be the industry leader with a motorsports career ladder to allow young drivers to develop their career in Mazdas or Mazda-powered cars. Uh, we've been very organized on the open wheel side with the Mazda Road to Indy, and we've been providing scholarships on the sports car side, as you said, from grassroots racing, uh, like the shootout last week at Button Willow, up to MX-5 Cup sometimes into the Continental Series, sometimes into Pirelli World Challenge. And uh, future announcements coming, but uh, the same type of organization you've seen on the open wheel side is a key part of our strategy on the sports car side. And uh, we're really proud of what we've done so far. We're excited to eventually, once we refine the package and show its reliability, to have customer teams uh, in both the United Sports Car Championship, the Tudor, the Tudor Series, or potentially World Endurance, or uh, the 24 Hours of Le Mans, which Mazda, as you know, has a rich history there. Well, that was my next question, was looking at Le Mans. I know we won that, and uh, Mazda won that in 1991. Uh, and any, any thoughts about having a factory Mazda program for Le Mans? Would this be strictly a customer-based program for Le Mans? Well, the way that the ACO and the FIA have established the regulations for uh, the World Endurance Championship, as well as Le Mans, uh, they look at LMP2 as a customer category. Uh, if you look back at Mazda's history at Le Mans, that's really where we started in that sweet spot of the C2 class or the LMP2 class. And so as we look towards hopefully going back to Le Mans someday, uh, all with the intention of selling more Mazdas and telling the Sky Active story and how it relates to the road car. I mean, in the end, this engine in the LMP2 uh, format or in the case of the Tudor series uh, is a prototype is, is very close to what we ran in the GX car last year. And uh, that, in fact, was, was over 50% production components, uh, which is, in the end, uh, what we're trying to do here is, is put the Mazda brand out there and sell more product. Thank you, John Doonan, director of Mazda Motorsports. Thanks for having me, guys. We look forward to being part of your show in the future. And the series in 2014. The Racing Insiders on MAV-TV every Thursday at 2 and 5 o'clock Eastern and again on Saturdays at 12.30 midday.
It's the season of giving. So before we go to our next segment, let's talk about your investment in us and our investment in you, how we give to each other through the Racing Insiders. Go to our Indiegogo page, our crowdfunding page, and you'll get a chance to participate in gifts from our marketing partners, including GoPro cameras, fan experiences at the Tudor United Sports Car Championship, and the Pirelli World Challenge. This is with the Mazda Owners Group, iRacing memberships, and gifts from Trackmate. There's many more there. So go to the racinginsiders.com slash Indiegogo. Participate in an investment in your favorite sports car racing show.